Oh. Keep your seats. Excuse me, this is a private meeting. Oh, excellent. I despise interruptions. Who the hell are you? Me? I'm the man you're looking for. I'm the one who controls, or what do you people call them? The ghosts? So you're all fretting about this city dying. I'm here on behalf of an organization that wants you to let it die. See, death is a beautiful thing. We die, we go into the ground, our remains grow into flowers. It's only in the interval after dying that new things can sprout. That's enough. Get the hell out of- Cities are like puppies. You see them writhing in agony on the streets. You put them down. You don't let them suffer. I'm getting security. Hey, well, Suzette, calm down. Get up. It's very rude behavior. None of you seem particularly likable. But if you do have any friends, or anyone who does love you, I suggest you say goodbye. My people will be in touch. You can't be the arrow. He died. So who are you? You're about to find out. Stop the train. No, I don't want to. Even if I did, I couldn't. I destroyed the braking system 20 miles ago. Willing to die to destroy a train station? No, that would be ridiculous. Then how are you planning on getting off the train? Oh, you don't know who I am, do you? I'm Damien Dark. What are you? Miss Fayad, many members of Hive, they consider me to be a charlatan. That this, this is a parlor trick. Sleight of hand. <laughs> demonstration was for you, Mr. Tell. Just in case you have any doubt as to how I process disappointment. I take a little peeksy. I mean, I have my suspicions, of course, but I just want to see if I'm right, as usual. <laughs> Didn't you learn anything from our last go-around? I guess not. You know, it is a shame that you won't live to see the new life that I breathe into this city. The new life that I breathe into this world. You won't get the chance. It's Merida. Aren't you out a little bit past your bedtime? I've seen something of your fighting style. You're trained by Ra's al Ghul. Tell me, 
How is Malcolm doing these days? It usually works. Huh. You brought arrows to a gunfight. What guns? Oh, that was actually pretty clever. <laughs> Kill him. You know, I gotta be honest, I really thought we'd be doing this dance a lot longer. Night, night. <laughs> what was yes, that? My invitation was lost in the mail. <laughs> oh, yeah, here. Mm, mm, mm. Malbec, nice. How did you know that was my favorite red? So full-bodied, so full of life, unlike your security outside. Oh, and in my defense, they fired first. <laughs> I guess my invitation was lost in the mail. <laughs> I'm only kidding, it's not my kind of scene anyway. Hmm. I'm only here to have a word with the man of the hour. What do you want? Well, something I can't have, apparently. Your loyalty, your allegiance. I told you there'd be a price to pay if you refused. I made that decision, not these people. Let them go. Ooh, I wish I could do that. I really do. But sometimes the best way to teach someone a lesson isn't to punish them. It's to punish the ones he cares about the most. I was ready to just call it even for the night. You may go. As the kids say, I got this. You really haven't learned anything, have you? Oh, I might have learned a little. what's beneath that mask. <coughs> Seems like you're dying a bit too. <laughs> some very interesting friends. Oh boy. My, my. I haven't seen that trinket in a dog's age. In Changa province, am I right? Stay. Oh, I like you, and I don't like many people. <laughs> I'm guessing your insurance won't pay for that. Cute. Bye-bye. When you're dead, I'll make sure that totem gets put to better use.
friends are stashing anything for him. You know, you're lucky I'm not the man that you think I am, Miss Lance. If I were the man that your father so vehemently claims, you'd be in a lot of trouble right now, wouldn't you? Are you threatening an assistant district attorney? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Just merely trying to figure out where your father gets these vicious ideas from. Oh. I hope his mind isn't starting to go. You know, dementia is sometimes an after effect of long-term alcoholism. You're a son of a bitch. Regardless, it's comforting to know that his heart is in the right place. A father who would do anything to protect his daughter from the dark. do if he betrayed me. Impressive. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I want you to give your father a message from me. I want you to tell him I'm a man of my word. I'm a death 1159. Small world, isn't it? Your brother-in-law being my loyal servant. Thanksgiving at your home is going to be so interesting this year. <laughs> cool. You know, I didn't even mean to do that. turned steel arrows into dust and you thought lead would do the trick? He's not human anymore. Oh, I'm still human. Just better. My daughter, the pain of growing up without her mother. Or Mr. Lance, living without Laurel. And don't get me started on your pain. It's not so easy without the magic, is it? Oh, I don't need magic. I'm a former member of the League of Assassins. Or have you forgotten that? Remind me. What are you gonna do now, Oliver? Stop posturing. We both know you can't do it. You spare the life of the man who killed your own mother. You killed a friend of mine. You killed tens of thousands of innocent people. With Slade Wilson, I had a choice. This time I don't. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.